today I'm going to show you how to do a stretch called the Thompson stretch. This is a great exercise for um, to stretch out the uh, iliopsoas muscles. Uh, it's also known as the hip flexor muscles. So these muscles often get tight in people who are very active, uh, especially in guys who are runners or if you're doing a lot of squats and uh, using a lot of the lower limbs. So well, all you'll need for equipment is either a table or a bench, but you'll need something which is high enough off the ground that your legs can dangle. So if you're sitting and your feet are touching the ground, then your table is too low. You want to be able to have your legs swinging and uh, moving freely. So we're going to do one side at a time. And what we're going to do is sit down on the bench, and then you're going to lie back. Hopefully your table is long enough that you can relax your head down. If not, it doesn't matter. The thing that's most important here is that when you're sitting here, your leg can move freely. So we're going to do one side at a time. So to stretch the right side, we're going to go ahead and grab the left side, lace your fingers behind your knee, very simply rest back and pull back on your knee. And what this is going to do is create an equal and opposite pressure as your leg reaches down on the right side. And relax, take a deep breath and gently pull your knee into your body and let the leg hang down. What we're looking for here is that the leg does not follow as you pull. So we want, this, we want the right side to be able to relax down and stretch as we pull on the left. And we're going to hold that for 15 to 20 seconds and then we're going to switch to the other side. So now we're going to stretch the, the left side, we're going to grab the right leg behind the knee and gently lower back, lace the fingers behind and pull back on that leg. And we're going to pull as far as you can, nice and slow pull. And the left leg is going to dangle, and as it dangles, it's going to stretch down. Pulling the knee in towards the chest. Nice deep breaths. And 15 to 30 seconds, we're going to come back up to center. Bring yourself up. And you can rotate right side, left side a few times. And that's everything you'll need to know on how to do the Thomas stretch.